This is Peter Rogine. We're at the studio, Jazz Guitar USA, in the metro New York City area, the metropolitan area. Subtitle of the show, Have Guitar, Will Travel. You get a call, you have to go, got to pay the rent. You find yourself at a gig. Club owner's girlfriend says, I want to sing a song. Club owner is standing there. He's 250 pounds. You got to make the girl sound good. So how do you do that? How do you make sure that she will not have an error? You find out the key. Let's say it's C. And the first note of the song she would like to sing is the pitch G. She has to sing this. Bam! She has to sing that note. You want to guarantee she comes in on that note or you're going to look bad and you might not get out of that club alive. This is New York. So we have to make sure you give her that pitch and she can hear it. So here's how an, I would do an intro in C with that note to guarantee the singer grabbing that note as the first note of her song. Couple of ideas. I could just do a G7, which is the five of the key. I could do that. Well, I wanted something a little bit more involved, but still it's gotta be simple enough that this young lady can pick up that pitch. One, six, with a G on top. D minor with a G. G sus with a G. And there's her first singing note. So that's the first clue to guaranteeing that a singer grabs that first note and you sound right, because you have to make her sound correct. So we'll do that again. First note of the song is G. Mm -hmm. Gotta make sure she hears that. There's a lot of noise in the club. There's people, you, maybe you were just finishing up in the key of E flat, a different key, A flat, D flat. And so she hasn't heard any sounds yet. You have a couple of choices. You give her the five of the key. Maybe it's five sus. You know, so I hit the high G on top. from my pick first chord she's in the song hopefully let's say you want to give her a little bit more a one major seven six minus seven two minus seven five seven but emphasizing the note G so she can't miss it D minor with a G G sus and you look at her and you go song. So that's the first lesson as a freelance musician with no rehearsals. Someone comes up, you figure out the key, and you know the song. You have to know the first pitch of the song. That's a, in, a very important. And of course, uh, some of you gentlemen out there and ladies who are listening, you work from the pro real book. There's no melody there. There's just the chords. So I've seen people give intros like this, real involved. <laughs> expect the girl to get this pitch from that intro that's an interesting intro for guitar players and piano players however uh, a rather inexperienced vocalist will get lost with that and give you that one of those looks and then her boyfriend says oh yeah, you're really not as good as I thought you were. maybe you guys shouldn't make the money you're making so uh, we have to make sure we make the singer sound good that's our job have guitar will travel so the first part of the lesson the five of the key in this case, we're doing key of C. Sus two. That's fine intro. You want to be double sure? Give her the G. And then you could do that. Or if you want to give her a chord progression, make sure the G is the highest note. One, six, two with the G, T, D minor with the G, and then five sus. That should guarantee a gig, a callback. You have a nice time. Let me know how that works out. This is Jazz Guitar USA, New York City brand. Have Guitar Will Travel. My name is Peter Rogine. More to come. Keep plucking away. Keep pushing. Thank you.